Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys another traditional origami project. Today we're going to make a traditional origami uh, folder or card, if you will. Um, I think this works really good as a card case. You can also use it as a way of folding up letters. Um, for this origami, you need one piece of origami paper. And actually what you need is a piece of paper that has one fourth of it removed. So it winds up being 15 by 11.25 in my case in centimeters. Um, just to show you guys really quick here how you can eliminate one fourth. What you can do is take the color side and face it down, fold the paper in half. You don't need to fold it all the way though. We're just going to put a little pinch up at the top here and down at the bottom to mark where the center is. And then I can fold towards those marks with my right side, get a crease, and then just cut this part off. And that will give you the size that you need for this particular project. This also works really good for um, you know, regular printer paper too, if you wanna use those dimensions, um, since it's a rectangular base piece. Now what we want to do is starting with the color side facing down, I'm going to have my paper long ways this way, and I'm just going to go ahead and fold my paper in half. And then I'm going to take this side and roll it down so that it brings over to the edge and gives me a nice big triangle here. Turn everything around and do the same thing on the other side. So that we have something that looks like this. Now I'm going to turn it 90 degrees and eliminate the white area here by folding this outer edge towards the edge of the triangle that you see here. So I'll fold this part over and keep it nice and straight and smooth it out. Turn it around 180 degrees and do the exact same thing on the other side as well. So that we wind up having something like this and all the white area is now covered up. Now I have my center crease that runs right through here in the middle and I'm going to use that as a guide because I'm going to take this right side and create a crease that runs right up against that edge and goes all the way up to the top. Go ahead and crease it out and turn it around and I'll just do the same thing on the other side too. And then to finish things off and secure it, you'll just take this tip and slide it into the little tab that you see here on each side. And that's how you secure and close off this little uh, card holder or envelope. And that is how we make this finished traditional uh, card holder. And uh, that's the finished project for today. I'll have some more fun projects to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.